I'm going to talk about two bills from Congress that if made into law will be a huge boost for making self-driving cars a reality in the near future. Self-driving cars will be ubiquitous in the future. There's too much money invested, too much money to be made, and too much money lobbied to turn back now. Matter of fact, Congress is creating laws behind self-driving cars as we speak. That's right, but what does that mean? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you, so you don't have to. Let's start this video by quickly talking about commuting to work. Commuting to work is a drag. You're up at the crack of dawn, trying to make it to work on time so you can begin your work day. Ugh. The average American spends around 27 minutes on the road to and from work. That's 4.5 hours per week on the road, or 234 hours a year. That's a lot of time. There are countless things you could do with 234 hours. You could watch the original Star Wars trilogy 37 times. Or you could read The Hunger Games, Lord of the Rings, Twilight, Harry Potter, and the Song of Ice and Fire series with 3 minutes to spare. I can't wait until self-driving cars become a reality, and apparently Congress feels the same. On September 6th, the House approved the HR 3388, called the Self-Drive Act. Currently, companies who want to test self-driving cars need to apply for exemptions to the National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration's Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. Right now, the agency only grants 2,500 exemptions per year. The Self-Drive Act would increase that cap to 25,000 per year initially and expand it up to 100,000 annually in three years' time. It will also allow manufacturers to bypass usual requirements like steering wheels and gas pedals on board. I'm pretty sure this is for testing purposes. Companies have been testing autonomous vehicles on public roads since 2010 with Google. Since then, there have been 21 different state laws and guidelines for testing. New York, for instance, requires an expensive police escort for autonomous tests. So, this legislation would also supersede state-by-state -state rules, making it possible for autonomous testing to proceed on a level playing field across the country. I think this will help companies rapidly test out their autonomous technologies. There will be more data to analyze um, the performance, and this will allow companies to scale up their programs. The Self-Drive Act was passed in the House on September 6th and it was sent to the Senate. It was read twice and referred to the Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation. At this time, there's no set date on when the Senate will vote on the Self-Drive Act bill. But the way it's looking right now, uh, our first exposure to self-driving cars will be in driverless Ubers or taxi services. Until the prices of the technology drops, having your own self-driving car will be for the wealthy. There's a similar Senate bill which was unanimously approved by the Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee and introduced to the Senate on, on October 4th, the Senate 1885 called the AV Start Act. The Senate AV Start Act is very similar to the House Self-Drive Act except that with the AV Start Act, companies are capped at 15,000 exemptions per year and 80,000 in the next in the following three years and then no cap on the fourth year american legislators want the u.s to stay on the forefront of self-driving technology and that means putting it on the road as quickly as possible either the house self-drive act or the senate av start act will need to be signed by president trump in order to become law so far the self-drive act is further along having been passed by the house um, and it's waiting for the senate vote either way i think it's only a matter of time before these bills become law there's so much to cover um, with the arrival of self-driving cars. There are the manufacturers, the laws formed behind it, and the 5G networks that will make it all possible. And I'll be covering all of it each step of the way. And I can't wait to someday have a self-driving car and having more time to watch movies, read, and maybe even sleep. Yeah, that's a good one, sleep. I seriously want a self-driving car in 10 years. But I want to hear from you. When do you think self-driving cars will be available and affordable to the masses? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in self-driving cars, space exploration, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and this is the end of our journey.